deal with with some issues that that uh, your attorneys have suggested we not deal with uh, but I do want to get your idea on what people talked about as relates to quote unquote all of the circumstantial evidence all of the quote unquote blood evidence the conflicting stories that were told about where you were when the limo driver pulled up whether you were indeed sleep in the shower chipping golf balls etc well i can't talk specifically about that but let me tell you there's no conflicting stories it's been somewhat disconcerting watching uh, tv the other night and seeing uh da's from around the country one from georgia a blonde who was saying it's just totally amazing to me that they can go on tv and not know anything and for an hour uh, uh, just talk and, 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 and pontificate about things they know nothing about. I watched the entire show the other day where they were experts uh, who didn't know anything about what happened in this deposition, uh, uh, analyzing what might have been said uh, in this deposition. Once again, I don't think there, was, there were any conflicting stories uh, at all. Uh, I gave, you know, people talk about giving an interview. Uh, 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 no holds barred tough interview. I gave a no holds barred tough interview without a lawyer in the room for 33 minutes to the LAPD and the prosecution did everything they could possibly do not to let that in court. And Our lawyers that... from time to time, time after time, tried to get that statement uh, on the record in court and they didn't want it on the record in, in the court. And I'll tell minutes? you there's no, nothing, in my opinion, nothing conflicting. And in that 33 minutes if we were to obtain that tape, we would know where you were during that time? What's interesting is every question they ask me, I don't know what they're, what they're going at. I'm, to, I'm hoping that they can get me out of the way and go after and find who did this. Everything they ask me, I, asked, I answered as honestly as I could and as accurately as I could. Were you chipping golf balls? Where I don't want to talk about that. It's on, the, it's on the video. Exactly what I was doing is on the video. Well, give America something for free, Mr. <laughs> well, I've given them a lot for free. I mean, I, you know, as I, I gave them a 33 uh, a minute interview for free. It's the prosecution, the LADA's office, that didn't want to give it to them uh, on the record for free. It was, it was right there for them. So I can't at least find out where you were at that time. Chipping golf balls, sleep, shower. You can find out uh, for twenty nine ninety nine. For twenty nine ninety nine. Uh, I, I have another uh, lawsuit. I spent a career, and I like to think uh, a career that I was um, I was gracious mm -hmm. to people. I like to think I was modest. I uh, I spent a, and I worked my butt off for, for what twenty years to attain a certain wealth, and it's all gone. And I need to defend myself, and I need to raise and support my family. L let me hit this break. When we come back, I want to ask you about your life. Back in a moment. Back with O.J. Simpson. Mr. Simpson, one of the things that people are concerned about, particularly African Americans, is whether or not you indeed fear for your life. There is a lot of hatred out there, uh, whether we differ on the numbers of people, but it is very intense for you. Do you at all fear for your life? You know, I can't give it any thought. I, I'm like a, I try to be positive. My lawyers and family have um, insisted that I have security, which I have. Uh, but you know, I, I, I can't live my life in fear. You know, and I, as I said, the negative, I try to ignore the negative and, and focus on the positive. If uh, anything positive came out of this is, first of all, I, I know that I got some great friends who, who would just do just about anything for me. You know, in your life, they say, if you got one good friend, you're way ahead of the game. But I got so many. I'm starting with Al Collins, AC. I got Bob Kardashian. I mean, it just goes on down the line. Some great friends I've met, or I've had the opportunity to speak with and meet some great Americans, black and white. And I think the thing I'm probably most proud of is that, uh, I think what America saw was a great family, black family. My sisters and my mother, my brother, they, I mean, you know, I always felt it. But I, I, think, um, I, I think I'm way ahead of the game there. I think if all American families were like my family, this country would be a lot better off. What about the rest of your life, future for you? You've already said 
despite what people are talking about you trying to regain your image you know you're never no, going no, to be I'm American not to regain my image. and that's what I'm saying no. you, you despite what they're no. they're saying they're suggesting you are and you're saying that that you're not and you understand that you're not going to be America's pitchman anymore no, yes as I said I don't have a PR person trying to help me at this point in time I'm not looking to regain anything what I'd like to do is raise my kids spend as much time as I can with my family especially my mom who's here tonight <laughs> um, and play golf <laughs> you know I've had a lot of friends I like to give that camaraderie and support to uh, in my life I've, I've been blessed that I've been able to help educate members of my family members of my in-laws in both families or attempt to educate I've been able to help uh, in their daily lives and in support and giving jobs to friends and uh, I, I like to think that I've shared myself and I've shared my success not only with my family but with the public uh, I may not be able to do that anymore I would just like to be left alone raise my kids and as I said my hobby and passion is golf and play a little golf I've got about two minutes left mr. Simpson as best you can tell those who look at this interview look at you look at your story with a skeptical eye with a jaundiced eye something that you feel might help them along in bringing them back to at least allowing you as you say as someone who's been through this system the grace that you should have in your words because you were found innocent well I, this country has been a great country for 200 years because we have laws in this country and like them or not people have abided by those laws there have been decisions made uh, Mike Tyson a decision I didn't necessarily agree with but he was convicted he served his time many people in America say he's a racist I mean a, a rapist I was accused of a crime I was I feel vindicated in the court of law I shouldn't be called anything but OJ Simpson at this time I didn't kill anybody I could not kill anybody Nicole Brown Simpson was the mother of my kids she was a great mother it hurts me today to know that my kids will not know her as a mother I certainly would not have left my kids there to see that sign that that horrible gruesome scene that was outside her house I love my kids I love Nicole I could not have killed anyone and I did not kill anyone I'm an American and I just want to be treated like an American I want people to treat me the way I treated all of you and for the last 20 years I've met thousands hundreds of thousands of people and I treated you what my mother always taught me do unto others I treated you like I want to be treated and that's the only thing I'm asking now if you don't like me leave me alone I'm not bothering you let me raise my family and give me the opportunity to earn a living and support my family and friends all right as best I can OJ Simpson thank you for thank joining you us tonight. thanks we for giving it. me this opportunity all right thank you very much thank you for all of us at BET, I'm Ed Gordon. Thanks for joining us. Stay tuned for a one-hour live special hosted by BET's Bev Smith. She'll be joined by George Curry, editor-in-chief of Emerge Magazine. They'll be taking your phone calls and reaction. Again, thanks for joining us. Good night.